Hi, welcome everybody. So, uh, this is. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Bernard. I'm from. Uh, I, I'm from the Netherlands, and I work in Hong Kong. And I'm here for Faytech. So I'm the marketing director of Faytech. I'm the marketing director. Yes. Nice. Oh, so uh, this is a huge event right here. And see you, see you. Yes, Arne Weber is going to on stage now to introduce. All right. So let's let's uh, and you know to, to move it around, you just triple click. Oh yeah. yeah. And then you go the other way. Exactly. I'll go the other side around. Yes, sounds good. All right. So you'll be doing real time translations. Yes. I'm just pulling up the sheet here. All right. So Arne is welcoming all the guests right now. Nice. Um, I'm just gonna bring up my file. So he's welcoming um, Mr. Klaus Zenker, Miss Francine Hajit Sitori, and all the guest faith friends and partners to our event. And he's very thankful that everybody here um, is joining the product launch event, and he's very honored to be here. So he is actually introducing um, all the guests and he's uh, thanking everybody and he welcomes everybody to the Great Your Life event. So here you can see um, us being a truly global company. Our products are specified and designed by Germans, Americans and Chinese. Our software is written by Belgian, Tunisian, Moroccan, German and Chinese specialists. Our quality team is managed by a Korean and we have products in Germany, US, India and China. Production in Germany, US, India and China. So, Arne believes that um, that we globally work peace, peaceful together to, to find the most profitable way and we have a splendid future. That is the idea and spirit of FATEC. And based on that global thinking, we do fantastic innovation and products. I expect you will see and agree today. Let us celebrate today a happy technology event with many exciting news, information and products uh, to discover and learn. Again, thanks for your coming and let's start with a welcome speech of Mr. Yi Chiling, the Vice Major of Huizhou Principal. So, do you have a better Chinese or does Arne speak better Chinese? Uh, Arne definitely speaks a better Chinese than me. <laughs> But he gave me his speech beforehand. So, so now it's um, the Huizhou Mayor. Um, her name is uh, Miss Li Chunling. Li Chunling is going on stage. Yes, it should be or Mister. Right. Maybe the speech the speech notes were wrong. <laughs> I'm sitting at the uh, Hank's seat right here. I hope Hank doesn't mind. <laughs> what is this ah, yes. So now it's the, the, the vice major of Heizhou Municipal Government, Mr. Li Chinling. So I unfortunately, I don't have his speech. But um, he, he should be thanking everyone for being here. Um, so yeah, basically he's just um, happy to be here. Your Faytech Managing Founder, your main CTO, Arnold Weber. 
the chief representative of the delegation of German industry and commerce board. So there is English translations, luckily. The, chair, the chairman of the European Chamber of Commerce in South China. Yeah, you have a good view the from here. Yeah, it's a very nice. You can see how crowded the, the place is. Ms. Francine Catasotero, distinguished uh, entrepreneurs and guests. So you just keep translating the whole thing, right? Yes. So actually, they have a live translator here on stage. So uh, we'll hear Lauren, um, our sales manager, doing the, uh, doing the translations. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Zhuo Shengquan from Huizhou government. It is a pleasure to be gathered here today with you to witness a significant moment in the development of VTEC, a leading company in the field of touch display screens. I represent so I'm not allowed to speak so loud, unfortunately. So I have to keep my voice down. A warm welcome to all the guests attending this event. I'm I'm interrupting the. Well, she's gonna she's gonna pop in later to do the translation. Let's talk about some of the products around. Fitech is based in Germany, stands as a global <laughs> yeah. leader in industrial and commercial touch screen device manufacturing with Continental, Honeywell, Unilever, Bosch, Qualcomm, and other global famous brand customers. All right. So, uh, during this presentation, uh, yes. Maybe we can go ahead and talk about some of the products. Yeah, let's do that. So, this is a 32-inch outdoor kiosk. It's completely IP65, and um, it can be used outdoor. It has uh, waterproof. Yes, it's completely sealed. It can easily be opened. Um, it's ventilation. Yeah, so it has installed fans inside, yes. Because otherwise uh, it would be uh, overheated. What kind of market is this for? Uh, it's actually for outdoor um, displays, for presentation, for product presentations, for events. It's all just out, it can be outdoor, it's high brightness and very rugged. And also has a camera slot. Yes, so this one has touch, this one doesn't have touch. So let's keep a little bit talking about Sure. Presentation. We'll be back to all these. There's a lot of products from here. It looks so cool. Yeah. So this is the uh, Alcor 43 inch. And two of my videos. Cool. Yes. Yeah. This is really cool. So this is actually a uh, uh, one big 32 inch. Oh, so this one's 21.5. Sorry. 21.5. This one is 43. Nice. So, um, uh, Feitech has a big presence in the Huizhou. Yes, so we have our own factory here. We do optical bonding, large format sampling. Um, we have a very two floors, factory floors uh, in Huizhou, and it's completely solar powered as well. So it has solar power, I mean, not completely solar powered, but it has solar panels on the roof. So there's a lot of it is being, um, you know, it's being generated by solar energy. And so we're trying to really work for a green solution as well for production. And in general, it's, uh, yeah, we have the, then for sure we have the Shenzhen office where we have the R&D team. Yeah. And then here, well, I guess we'll keep going. Yeah. yeah just to try to get away from the speaker. 
brightness, look at this. Yeah, this is a high brightness, 32 inch. I think it's even 2500 nits. So this is really, really bright. It can be used in full sunlight. It's a, it's a really cool solution, which, you know, is a touch, 10 point finger multi-touch. On the wheels? Yeah, so this is just a, a, a mount to show it, but actually this can be installed into a, into a kiosk system. Nice. And then here you can have a scan code, a QR code scanner or a barcode scanner. Um, so it, it also has a sensor or a camera can be installed. So it has great flexibility. Nice. Um, so actually, so this one has a translator, so the speeches are being translated, um, but the rest of the event is actually completely in Chinese. So I will be doing the product introductions as soon as they are being presented on the screen. Okay, so, so um, how many people are going to be speaking? I think there are going to be eight people speaking. We have a whole group of... of um, we have a whole group of uh, FATIC employees that lined up to, to do the speaking. Such a large audience so who is coming to this event. Uh, so actually we have uh, a lot of people from the from the major government are here, like the, the, the mayor, the vice mayor, government employees, uh, but we also have partner companies from China. Um, and, and different parts of China, so not only in Guizhou area but also from outside. We have uh, flying in from Shanghai, from Beijing. Um, we have, I think, in total over 160 guests. So in total, everybody included, we have about 170 people. Yeah. If you need more people, you need a bigger hall. Exactly, so it's completely filled up. Yes, exactly. So we are very happy to see that everybody has, uh, has joined. Would you say that um, Freetech is a success story? Definitely, yes. So it's definitely a success story. And you can see how much we have grown um, from the first videos you shot, Chavax, uh, back in 2013, I believe. So you can see how much it changed. And for sure, we'll do another tour video, um, also in Sweden. So that's our plans there, where we produce mostly the standard products. We assemble, we put everything together. So in Kuwaito, it's really the speciality area where we focus on touch panel production, optical bonding, large format, small format, sampling. But in the end, all, this, all the... Sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera here as well to film you. <laughs> but uh, in the end, it's all about um, working together as a as a, glo a global company right so we have also you know we've been been becoming part of the pyramid group um, we get a lot of projects now in germany um, in us and south africa brazil japan india korea so for example here you have colleagues maybe we can jump in and yes so here should we uh, ask them if they're okay to be on camera yeah but we can do it later as well or? <laughs> Let's do a quick, let's try. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If they don't like it, I'll just uh, edit okay, it out. Sure. All right. All right. Hi. Hey, what's up? All right. You can introduce this guy. Yeah. So this is uh, Sachin Kumar Gupta, and he is the uh, the general manager in uh, Fatic Private Limited in India. Uh, so you do video after. Yeah. We can do an interview later. Thank you. Right. And this is uh, Meguro san, Kenji Meguro, and he's uh, the general manager of uh, Japan, of our operation in Japan. 
And this is uh, the engineer, to Tosan, and he takes care of, uh, of the engineer samples in uh, Japan as well. So he supports uh, Meguro-san. And then we have uh, Harry Kim, and he's the, uh, the manager, in. Uh, so he, he handles the operation in Korea. And then we have Lothar, and he handles the R&D in Germany. You know everybody. Yes, and this is Raphael, <laughs> and he handles the, he's the optical bonding specialist and product management management in Germany as well. And then we have here Angela, and she is also handling product management in Germany. So maybe later we will ask if some of these guys want to be on video too. Yeah, I think we can do short interviews with each of them, uh, because everybody has their own story to tell, right? And you can see how much the team grew in the last few years. Um, so for example, uh, Kenji Maguro is a new employee, Sachin has been with us for a few years, Rafael has been with us longer than me, so we have a lot of long-term employees, but also new ones coming, so it's really interesting to see the growth. And I think also for you, when you come back every time, you see a different company, you know, one company that grew, I think, well, what do you think, Chawar? Right. So I need to, um, need to grab some of these guys. Maybe we'll uh, just go ahead and just ask them to come behind there and let's talk a little bit with them in this video right now. Who's next? Who's next in the show? Um, I'm just so now I think Arne is going on stage after the break. Oh no, they're going to have guest speeches first. So this should be uh, the government. Uh, Ah, this is the government speech about the Quecho investment. Yes, so this is um, they're trying to uh, get people to invest because it's uh, a good place. To, uh, they have lots of factories here. Um, and so that's also where we established our factory here, right? Because it was um, a very good location, you know, logistically wise. It's not Yes, exactly. It's more affordable than in Shenzhen itself because in Shenzhen you there's a Shenzhen is going crazy. It's going crazy with the pricing. So we have our office there still, right? We have our R&D team, we have a sales team, marketing team, uh, the, the general managers are sitting there. But for production, we decided okay, let's go for um, Huizhou instead um, because it's around, about one hour away. So let's see if uh, let's grab some of these guys, sure, and see if they want to speak a little bit. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Do you want to be in a video shortly? Do you want to come with us? To speak about something? Let's, let's come over here. Okay. Can you maybe give me your mic? Do you want to have the mic? This one? This one? Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, I don't know, it's Starbucks. He has a little. He has lots of questions. Shawak has lots of this questions for him. Um, I mean, this mic. You know, I'm engineering, right? Not product management. Product yeah, management. Cool. Oh, yeah, he's the R&D guy. <laughs> I'm the R&D guy. You want right. to get code for me? So please introduce yourself. Hi. Hello. Yeah. For the Stufe. <laughs> Hi. My name is Lothar Felten. I'm the R&D manager of Paytech in Germany. All right. So uh, where are you based? I'm based in Aachen in Germany. And uh, what's happened over there in Aachen? We're um, a small team are developing together with our colleagues in China and Shenzhen uh, the new products for Feitech. So uh, is there some crazy cool new projects? Did you have to uh, prepare something for this show here? This is like the big uh, Feitech press event, right? Did you bring some cool demos and stuff? <laughs> Or Did you go there? <laughs> no, I'm just, well, I'm just, just checking. Yeah, okay, no. We don't need to go and look at them. But uh, what, what, for example, what uh, kind of uh, um, technology do you work on? Uh, so currently we're um, introducing neural network acceleration for Fatech products. So that's the new hot topic for more than one of our products. All right. So neural network uh, acceleration with a cool SOC that has a nice AI area yeah. on the chip. So it's a small ARM SOC, low power, high performance, six cores, and also has a neural network accelerator. And uh, what can you do with this? What's, what, what, what kind of test are you doing right now, for example? Okay, currently we're um, investigating neural network acceleration for topics like image classification. So it's attached to a camera, and the live image will be processed from, by the neural network engine. All right, and uh, this platform is available to customers and partners who can just take it and 
customize it the way they want for their products? Yes, basically we provide the technology, we provide the product, we also provide the, the know-how so the customer can get started easily. Whether the customer wants to create his own neural network or he wants to do something that's pre-made, there's plenty of neural networks available um, off the shelf which you can use. Because this is an amazing product, but when you can add neural network stuff uh, with the camera and uh, for example somebody's coming by then the image will change to something that's more relevant it will detect people maybe so, so people detection object detection and also some awareness of situation awareness is, um, are topics that, that are addressed by the neural network and it's already been uh, in the works for a little while already um, at Faytech or it's like the, the cutting edge, this is what people want. This is, this is, this is what c customers are asking now. So it's, it's obviously uh, still a relatively new technology for smaller companies. Obviously, um, research has been going on for years, even decades. Um, but now the, the, the technology is there to make it accessible for smaller customers um, that don't have a research department that can compete with Google or Nvidia or Facebook or all of those large companies. And do you have to interact directly with the customers, like to do a what's called field application engineer, what's called a, help them with each of their projects? Yes, obviously we're not yet in a mode where we can offer this technology as a um, fixed feature of one of our products. We're currently working together with customers, with their R&D department to um, provide, to integrate the, the neural network acceleration. Nice. Cool. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. That's cool. It's part of the live show. So you can grab the mic back here. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks. Go Thanks a lot. Back. Go down here. Then Have fun. We'll see you around. <laughs> All right. Um, can you talk about where we are? Yeah. Let's, what is this place maybe here? Maybe we can show around a little bit the uh, area. Let's just go just quickly around. Because actually this is a oh, sorry. This mic, you need to have it up there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is the wrong way. Sorry, I'm just... Adjusting it here as we go. This can just go in the pocket. Okay. Yeah. Can uh, you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Perfect. So, what is this building? Where are we now? So before the actual uh, product introduction, let's just, just show you the venue. So actually this is a venue which is around 10 minute drive. And what is this? Um, this car? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a package delivering, uh, Depon Express. It's very small. Yeah. All right. And here it says, Faytech 2023 product reveal event. And yeah. Huizu Investment Conference. Yeah, and it's in the Carundo Sport Park in Huizu. All right. And Something's going to happen there later? Yes, so this is going to be the dinner. This is where you're going to have your dinner, Charbox. Oh, uh, I'm looking forward. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and and um, this is about a 10 minute drive from the factory, uh, Huizu factory. And you can already see that they're building new. They're building the new Faytech uh, 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 headquarters. Huge <laughs> building there. Exactly. Right. So here, you can see also here nice, nice screens outside. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if this one is waterproof, um, but, but you're not uh, afraid to put it here, huh? It's well, not, uh, you okay. know. Okay, for now it's not raining. Here. For now it's not raining, and um, you have other waterproof products. We have Maybe waterproof this one products. Is waterproof, no? This one is uh, waterproof. Uh, yes, this one is actually waterproof. So maybe you should swap them. Actually, we should, but um, it's okay. it's, yeah, it's I'm not 100%. Right. Uh, I know that the front panel is waterproof. I'm not sure about the back, but. Um, I think it should be fine. Okay, cool. Let's go back in. And then you can translate what the guy is saying a little bit, right? Yes. What is this? This is a 86 inch whiteboard. So this is a new launch product. So actually you can, you can use an eraser, pen. You can see people sign their names here. I don't want to destroy. I mean, you can sign your name though. Exactly. So now you're also on there with the VIPs. Nice. You're one of the VIPs now, Charbox. So cool. I love being the VIP. Yeah. Okay, let's go around. Yes, let's go around. Do you want to be in a video? Can I make video with you? Yeah? Okay, let's go right out here. Okay. okay. Maybe you can grab again your mic. Yes, yeah. I have a mic for you. All right. Cool. Install it for you. Yep. You've done it many times, right? Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can maybe hold this one. Yeah. All right. So please introduce yourself. 
Yeah, hi, I'm Hank of Troublemaker, uh, the most notorious makerspace in Shenzhen, where we help uh, people with introductions to companies like Fatech uh, to secure a good ending of their tech pro uh, project. So you just make ideas reality. You, you just you, you help people to get there. Right. right. Uh, I think we we help people uh, make their ideas reality. It's not like I'm doing the work. I usually brainstorm with them, give them three or four great ideas over a cup of coffee, and then hand them over to the people who are really capable, like the designers or the engineers or the manufacturers. Is it like a makerspace? Well, the makerspace is the physical part of it, but the community is uh, where the value is. Like the makerspace is just a room with tools, machines, and benches. Uh, but of course, the events and, and the network, uh, the introductions is, is where people can get the bang for their buck. Shenzhen is amazing, no? Yes. Shenzhen is like uh, the best city in the world? Yeah, I think with this we are on the same line. <laughs> and have you done a bunch of things in Shenzhen? Well, I, I came to Shenzhen, I mean, I started living in Shenzhen in 2011, so that's over 12 years ago now, and started Troublemaker in 2016. Um, we have received over 16,000 people in, in three and a half years' time. 16,000? Yeah, so, and Whoa. COVID uh, kind of made a hiccup, and nice. we're, we're about to get back on track with that. Nice. COVID should be, uh, people should just work even more, stay at home, like, just work like crazy. But it was a difficult time. It but, was difficult, yeah. yeah. Where were you during COVID? Did you stay in China? Yeah. So you experienced the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, but we cannot talk about this because my video will get banned from YouTube if we talk about this, uh, this funny thing. You can cut it off. Yeah, no problem. Um, so 16,000 people with ideas, is it foreigners? Is no, it it, not, not all of them have ideas, but like we're in Wachong Bay and in a prime location, so we have people dropping in all the time. And also, of course, our landlord comes in with delegations and introduces us. So I count them in the 16,000. Uh, but we have a lot of people coming in with ideas uh, who are looking for a little bit guidance and help. So, um, what kind of equipment do you have in the maker space? Uh, a lot for uh, electronic engineering, so basically everything uh, an electronic engineer dreams of. And then stuff for mechanical engineering like drills and grinders and saws. And, uh, some are machines, some are hand tools, laser cutters, of course simple 3D printers. Uh, yeah. Uh, Silicon Valley is cool, right? But it's just iPhone apps, I think. I'm joking. But uh, the the real stuff, the real uh, interesting stuff, is uh, hardware. Absolutely. And this is what's happened here. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Shenzhen is the hardware startup capital of the world. Like every few seconds, a new company is registered in Shenzhen, and what I hope to see is that we're more transitioned to a more environmental friendly product development period where products are developed to add value to people's lives and where they are made of uh, materials which can be reused. So I mean that's where I'm trying to focus on when I talk with people but in the end of course it's up to them. Nice. Yeah, uh, I think uh, there's so many problems in the world but all the problems can be solved by technology. Right? Nearly. More or less. You can imagine any problem there is, maybe there's a technological kind of like fix. Mm. You know? Some kind of gadget that just makes peace and all these I, th I think I think for me that takes it just a tiny little bit too far. I think a lot can be solved with technology, but uh, like one of our members is uh, has the IP on a totally new carbon capture technology. So I mean that comes pretty close. Uh, on the other side, just one thing a little bit less could also help. Yeah, getting good stuff, good technology, so you don't need to buy a new one every year. Yeah. yeah. Something useful. Oh, that's an old Russian saying, by the way. Uh, when I was there, they said, like, we don't have enough money to buy, low, uh, to, to buy cheap shit. Yeah, exactly. You need to buy something good. Quality, mm. just not Apple. I'm just joking. Okay, <laughs> just joking. This, this stuff is cool. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Um, I love the potential of Shenzhen. So are you saying that anybody in the whole world watching this video, it doesn't matter what country they're from, they should try to come to Shenzhen, they should contact you, and they yes. should start getting projects happening? Yeah, I mean, that's what we've been doing all the time. Uh, we're like the most accessible and inclusive 
organization. Uh, we're also not a trading company, so we don't hide our resources from our member. We also don't take a commission from uh, the people who we introduce them to. Uh, we solely based on, on memberships. You don't take a, uh, uh, what's called a cut on all the products? Yeah, so because if you, if you come here to develop a product and if you have a product where you need to create a margin to be competitive and we would take commission or sit in between or try to uh, hide you from the real manufacturer, that's not in your benefit. And that's not what like, an organization like us should do. So like, I, can't, I can't say that other members in our organization don't do that, but we as, as a platform, we, we don't take commission and we don't hide resources. It just sounds amazing. It sounds like it's the place to go. Yeah. Troublemaker. Troublemaker. Right? Uh, you're going to make trouble to the big tech? Absolutely. Gonna, like the Googles and the Apples, they're, they're shaking in their boots. Because Whoa. the next uh, little project could disrupt I, I the say, whole I, say, I think they will not be shaking. I think they will buy you when you do something. Oh, yeah. You get a billion yeah. or maybe 20 billion. Yeah. Depends how, how good it, it is. Yeah. What kind of um, fate tech hardware have you been playing with at the Troublemaker? That's what I want to talk with Arna about today, because we are we are relocating. So uh, Arna is a member of Troublemaker, and maybe he's interested to play some of his stuff with us for our uh, members to play with. Nice, and maybe uh, they can get connected. For example, you send them over to the Fatech uh, R and D place, and then there's a tighter connection, and boom, the pro. Yeah, it, it, it really depends on what they're working on and that's why there is always uh, an intake meeting either by me or by one of my uh, colleagues to make sure that we understand really what they need and then we hand them over to the right people and if, if that's Fatech because they need a certain quality of screen then that's it. How does it work the membership? Um, very simple uh, we, have th we have three types of memberships so one is for people who want to develop a product they're usually not in China, not Chinese people. And then we have a membership for agencies, so like designers or uh, engineers who are looking for clients. And we have a membership for manufacturers. Uh, so they have the real estate and the machines. So it a little bit depends on who you are. And we have a membership for you. And that can be a remote membership. So if you're not in China and you're not planning to come to China for a while, you can be a remote member. And otherwise you can be uh, uh, yeah, in person on, in our makerspace. Nice. Do you speak the same language? I'm also from the Netherlands. Okay. It's very good. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something about uh, Dutch that are very good with technology? Or what? I think uh, the educational system in Holland makes people creative. Yeah, so from very young age, we are playing with stuff. Uh, we call it uh, manual labor lessons. Um, so we get a good, well-developed uh, imagination from very early on. And I think that helps. Nice. Cool. All right. So thanks a lot. So see you later, maybe in the troublemaker. Absolutely. Okay. Very welcome. Yeah, okay. Thanks so much. Cool. I'll get the microphone back. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. And I'll put the link to the Troublemaker <laughs> in the YouTube description. There's a Nederlander here. Maybe the only Nederlander. You also have your uh, yes. YouTube channel, right? Yeah. I will link to it and everything under the video. Yeah, I, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, oh, nice. Ah, cool. Let's uh, chat about uh, putting it on the, the links after. Yeah. Okay. okay thanks so much. We at the German Chamber of Commerce are the member organization that represent German companies doing business in China. Our aim is to support German companies in accessing the Chinese markets, driving growth by providing up-to-date market information and practical advice. Are you ready? So this is translating. Yes. This guy. So, German Chamber of Commerce. Yes, Martin Closer. So he's the uh, part of the delegation of the German Chamber of Commerce here in, in China. Fatech is the uh, best uh, uh, German quality Chinese-made yes. company in the world. Exactly. And 
we're actually part of the German Chamber uh, here in China as well. We are a member. Um, we're part of the European Chamber, and we yeah we have the R and D team in Germany, right? So we have an R and D team in China, R and D team in Germany. We're handling software in Germany as well. We have the hardware, the design. We have a design team. So we have definitely a lot of it. The products that we we see here today are actually designed in Germany. Innovation is the key to economic prosperity in China. AHK Greater China has arranged an exciting program in 2023, including various innovation dialogues with our members and workshops to support uh, our members to innovate. But now Problem. enough of the German chamber, we are here today to talk about Paytech. Um, Paytech is a company rooted in Germany, started to develop, develop and market uh, electronic devices focusing on touch screens in 2001. <laughs> With R and D teams in Germany and China, Paytech quickly expanded its business globally. Nowadays, Paytech is a leading global solutions provider, which has been committed to developing very innovative and high-quality products to continuously meet the market demand and user experience. Yes, I'm still here. So yeah, this is an interactive mirror, 15.6 inch. Um, let me. You can click twice and it will go straight. Ah, yes. So this is our 15.6 interactive mirror. I think the. Michael Fass will introduce it yeah. later to us. And you can clearly see it's a very nice display inside of the mirror. It can be used for hotel rooms, public toilets, um, and uh, the kind. So it's actually a 43 inch uh, high brightness outdoor interactive display. Um, it's, it's actually using electric uh, vehicle charging stations. So it's a really cool. Um, example of a very cool project is actually installed in a very big kiosk which can electrically charge uh, uh, cars tesla. Hmm? Tesla. not <laughs> not tesla <laughs> but uh, it's a very big company can you say a little bit more about who's here yeah so actually um so we invited the European Chambers, the German Chambers, we have members, uh, partner companies, there's a few partner companies from, from Shenzhen, from Heizhou, um, and also customers, but also suppliers of us. So we really have the, the whole mix together, so everybody can network with each other. Mostly it's from, from China, but we also, like I said, we have the, the people from Korea, Japan, India. Um, we have a very... Um, international uh, audience also so maybe uh, let's grab somebody else to video with yeah although the uh, product introductions are going to start soon so we have to uh, where is it going to start do you think actually arne is going to be the one starting it on stage oh, nice. so on stage, on stage. He's going to unveil two very big products, which are over there, with a big red cloth. Uh, not yet. Yes. Okay, now Arne is back, and he's more than honored to present um, together with the team, the innovative solutions. I think you get a much better show than me here, um, Chabax. But um, so he's basically saying, talking about um, uh, introducing our clean room in Huizhou. 
So it's being uh, uh, optically bonded in Equajo, the touch panel is being uh, manufactured in Equajo, and it will be sent over to Sweeney. And there they are being assembled into a final product to other companies and countries for further assembly, integration and distribution. <laughs> and he, um, Arno hopes that most of, of you already know the company um, Fatek, which was founded by him and his wife in, back in 2010. And the company grew from a very small assembly line in Shenzhen to a global company with more than 450 employees and three operations in China. And now Arne is introducing the, the touchscreen products tailored for industrial and commercial customers used in buses, metros, trucks, cars, electric cars, fast chargers, airports, and now even airplanes. But most often, we are with our touchscreens part of the kiosks and we are managing machines or we automate processes with our devices. Sometimes we develop super complex products um, like the Easy Shopper. Or there's also some, sometimes we do some unique um, products that you will see today at the event. In 2021, Fatech became part of the German stick stock listed. Uh, pyramid group. Today the pyramid groups makes uh, around 100 million US dollar in sales globally and Fatech is a major part of it. So with this strong backbone we want to accelerate our growth in China and let China become one of the major markets in our business. Made in China one of the markets and businesses made in China is made for China, local slogan which we want to establish. And here in Huizhou, um, we have a made in Huizhou, for Huizhou, and hopefully also for the whole Guangdong province. Please support us on this way and let us realize mutually successful projects together. You can still hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, and now Arne is introducing uh, two new flagship products. So that's why we have this event. At the moment he's introducing our the, the OLED transparent kiosk. As you can see here, it's a 30 inch uh, full HD display um, and it's mainly used for self service, retail, POS, ticketing. Um, and it has an Elkhart Lake Intel PC inside. Um, integrated with 8 GB RAM and 120 GB SSD. So yeah, it's a really um, great futuristic product, I would say, which can be used in, in a lot of different locations. It has the standard FATEC optical bonding, 1.1 millimeter cover glass. Yeah, so like he's uh, understanding about uh, McDonald's, it's actually um, also being used in McDonald's. Um, so it's a location complete new room feeling and exclusive feeling of style, greatness and uniqueness. So in total, um, Fatek already produced more than 40,000 self kiosks, and this is going to be the new flagship product. 
So wherever this product will be placed, it will change the whole atmosphere of the complete room. You can choose from an uh, X86 processor, ARM processor, with Android, Linux, Windows, Windows. Um, and for sure it can be integrated with a printer, payment terminal, and many more accessories. So, to make it short, let us check how we can revolutionize your point of sales with our see-through solution. And now the second product which we want to introduce. This is the uh, this is a very a product which I'm very proud of. We have a great R&D team that's supporting um, to reuse products and knowledge from open complete new worlds, to open complete new worlds. So this is um, together with the ARM processor, which you can also order for the see-through kiosk or in many, many other products that we build. Um, we build a powerful AI device which will change the way factories operate. And it opens to all AI machine operators, AI integrators, and the general AI operation a complete new world. So this is the AI camera rail. So the world uses NVIDIA Jetson boards or their powerful GPUs that for almost any AI project that made NVIDIA one of the most valuable companies in the world. Um, Arne is saying that he, um, he doesn't say that the product is better than NVIDIA. NVIDIA has the fastest, most versatile and complete solution in the AI world. But I say that our products are good enough for the typical AI person, purpose and at, at a fraction of the cost. With an NPU, neutral processor unit, providing 5 TOPs, our unit is powerful enough to use it in basically any environment and task. We want to use already one of the largest supermarket chains in the world to hop on our on this technology to develop frictionless shopping. And at the moment, we already have different, various um, AI software companies developing hardware AI for us. So we're definitely happy with that. Um, so for now, we developed a daisy chain AI camera reel, which enables you to analyze and automate your work, um, your work process. Um, and today, an AI optimized workplace would cost around 5k to 25k US dollar. But with this solution, we offer it for less than 500 US dollars. And this is an opportunity for any company to optimize its assembly lines and its way of collecting information, to protect theft, to check production faults, check customers, visits, and so much more. So now, we're actually celebrating the first samples in our production floor in Huizhou and Suining are being installed. Uh, so today begins the training of our AI model and we can't wait to offer already this to next year um, to develop the hardware to very interested partners with complete sector automation. <laughs> automatization solutions. So talk to us and check how you can profit from the best price performance AI solution in the market. And that's honest speech. I hope you understood the speech. Oh, that's a cool uh, AI camera. Yes, so this is a really innovative solution that we've been working on for a very cost-effective um, price. Um, so it can be used in, like I said, factory floors. We're actually planning on installing it in Huizhou and Sweeney by ourselves to check for product defects, to check for product problems, product issues. Um, it can even be used to check employees and you know see if they're actually doing the work. Uh, yes, sure. Yes. 
so it, it all depends on the case. So if we build a waterproof case around it, it's no problem because the camera is inside the plastic, so it can be installed indoor. Maybe even. could be a solar powered with the batteries. Yes, exactly. That will be the next step. It could also be be done. Yes. So we're actually installing the inside of a factory right now, but definitely yes. With the 4G, 5G. Yes. Exactly. So this is. Uh, it can also be with a, a LAN cable. So it's all uh, possible. Let me try to. Uh, let me try to operate here. Sorry. Okay, so now actually, um, Haber Guo, our general manager in Huizhou, is currently. I'm calling you. Oh, yes. So let's try to see if you can hear me still. Yes. One second. Oh, sorry, I, I lost you there. Yes, let me just put in my airbox. To find my airbox. Yes. So Harbor is actually introducing the uh, our, our futuristic products for sure. Um, actually, he's um, uh, introducing the products that we produced in Kuwait. Uh, so in the Hueto we we produce the touch panel optical bonding. So he's actually introducing the copper glass front panel, back panel. Um, the, the glue layer, so the optical bonding is all done in Kuwaito. Sorry, I was just trying to... Yes, now I can hear you. Okay, so... Now he's going to the uh, large format cover glass. Um, so we do the whole thing in house, which is from the, the front panel, optical bonding, touch panel, touch controller, and we all put it together into a final solution. Uh, and we do different sizes. Um, so here you can see the products uh, that he's showing. Uh, it's our 43 inch. Um, but we can also do larger, 55 inch. This one is 32 inch. And so basically he's explaining the processes uh, and showing the products. So he's um, show, doing a lot of technical, which I'm unfortunately unable to translate. But um, well, basically, he's he's showing exactly um, the products that can be used for various applications in industrial fields um, with high brightness, standard brightness, uh, IP65 front, for sure capacitive touch, and we do our own touch uh, firmware as well, so we can adjust the sensitivity. So yeah, he's still explaining a bit more, but um, either way, I don't know, Charbucks, if you have a few jokes to, to talk about. I was thinking to do the and look for touch jokes. Oh yeah, let's, let's see if we can do that. So now, um, Harbour Gore hands over the microphone to Michael Fass. Who's Michael Fass? Uh, he's the sales director of Faytech APEC region. So he's actually explaining our standard product lineup. Um, so it ranges from 7 inch all the way up to 86 plus inch. 
He just explained in the standard lineup of products which optically bonded, uh, capacitive touch. Um, we have uh, various different sizes and ratios available. Yeah, so um, actually Michael Faz is uh, Canadian and he has lived in China for more than 13 years. And here you can see him introduce the various different products. Um, so he's um, I'm just trying to understand but basically um, he's explaining the different application usages for the solutions where they can be used so it could be used for retail uh, industrial uh, POS systems um, and for sure they have different OS available so we have the touch PCs touch monitors uh, touch PCs with Android, Linux, Windows. So, um, I'm thinking, because uh, he speaks English, I could do video with him just after. Yes, exactly. Just, uh, listen English with him just after? Maybe right now, that. grab somebody else to speak Okay, to sure. Hey, hey, how are you? Do you mind being on video? Can I do interview with you? Yeah, can we do it over there? Alright. So maybe he can grab your, your microphone again? Yes. Alright. So we'll give you a mic. Yes, I'll install it. I think it's okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is a bucket. All right, so please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sachin, and I'm the general manager of India. I take care of the production and uh, all the day to day activities in India. So, uh, how big is the Faytech India? Uh, Faytech India is uh, we are a team of eight people right now and growing. And uh, so, yeah. All uh, engineers or some sales or marketing? So we have uh, five engineers and uh, three, uh, two people in sales and uh, marketing and one is accounting. Yeah. And do you also do engineering? Uh, I'm not an engineer but I'm a commerce graduate but uh, the thing is I have learned you know engineering uh, in my day-to-day -day activity so uh, on, on the job experience that I have. Uh, Faytech has been selling thousands and thousands of products in India, maybe not millions, right? But yeah, we uh, we have a years. good yeah. In uh, what do you call it? McDonald's and KFC alone, we have sold more than uh, three thousand units of uh, touch monitors. Uh, they are the biggest customers, and we have other uh, small customers in large numbers. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. No, every KFC, McDonald's. All right, these big screens yeah. is always Faytech. Right from north to south, east to west, uh, all KFC and McDonald's have Faytech screens. So uh, it's make people healthy to get the food. I'm joking, but <laughs> it's, it's uh, great because you 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 order the burger much faster. Uh, it yeah, you and like you just click and it's come. It's like it's like a the drink. customer has a better experience. You know, it's uh, easy to order and uh, easy to pay. So we don't have to stand in long queues. And uh, yeah, it gives them a pretty good advantage and uh, overall <clears throat> the experience is good. So they like, uh, you know, the self-ordering uh, kiosk experience. Yeah. You know, like uh, what I'm thinking is if there's queue at these kiosks, mm -hmm. you can just tell them buy more screens. Exactly, yeah. Just buy more. I mean, buy more uh, tech and uh, people don't need to queue to uh, get the burger. To give you an example, like, uh, you know, one of the busiest malls uh, in Delhi itself, uh, you know, a very small store has five screens 
you know, they don't have more space to put more screens. So that's the kind of uh, attraction they have. It's kind of mind blowing. It's one of the best uses of technology. I'm joking, I'm joking but it's so cool. Like people just go, they click on the fries, I want the burger, put my card. That's it? That's it. Does it work with the cash, coins and stuff? Uh, so you have card payment, you have UPI. Uh, so India has a very uh, different kind of payment system. It's called unified payment system. So the payment is directly de uh, debited from your bank account. So you just scan uh, using your phone and payment goes through. Boom, shakalaka. Shakalaka, yeah. Okay, that's so, good. So less than a minute, your order is placed and... Uh, you know. I, I remember doing a video maybe, I don't know if it was 10 years ago, but a while ago with Arne, he was talking about buses. Mm -hmm. I think there was a screens inside buses in India. Yeah, so we are also there in smart city projects. So I think uh, I think seven to eight cities in India, where uh, Fatex IP65 devices are there, so the bus driver can select the routes and uh, make announcements. Uh, you know, give out their uh, PR and whatever they have to do uh, during the bus journey. And uh, yeah, it's one of the most successful projects that uh, Fatex has in India. Ah, so it's big quantities. Very big quantities, more than uh, 3,000 buses in India. Yeah. Wow. India is a big country. India is a very huge country. It's the most people in the world. It's the biggest population. Yeah, now. it is overtaken China recently. Yeah. So it's uh, also the most populous country, and uh, I mean uh, India is growing. It's the most important country. Of course, yeah. and India is soon going to become the third largest economy in the world. So we see that uh, you know India has been growing for the last uh, ten years. It's been growing eight percent a year. So we see immense potential in India. And uh, with the kind of technology that Fatek has, I mean, uh, you know, Fatek India will be one of the biggest uh, growth drivers for uh, Fatek Do you Globe. have Indian customers who come and say, I want this kind of new uh, concept, this kind of new project, and you say, okay, let's talk. Is that how it works? That's how it works, yeah. So they have a concept and we also have uh, innovative products that we pitch to them. So they are very fascinated with the uh, OLED displays and, uh, you know, the kind of uh, innovations that we can bring to their stores and their machinery and uh, everything. So yeah, overall there is a lot of uh, demand and uh, also Fatek has, uh, you know, reliable products. So that's, at the end of it, uh, every uh, manufacturer wants reliable products. So uh, Fatek delivers them with uh, quality and reliability. So that's the USP of uh, Fatek, yeah. That's cool. All right, there's so much potential, right? Immense potential, yeah. So much potential to do new projects and to do the best touchscreen uh, technologies, like uh, from big to small, affordable solutions also. Affordable solutions, uh, also like, uh, we kind of cater to the requirements of the market, right? So we are not only innovators that you know, have something that is unique, but also uh, we have something that uh, the market wants and, uh, you know, we are able to fulfill the customer's requirement uh, in a very big way. So that's the main, this thing, yeah. And how about those engineers? What, what kind of things they do in India? Uh, so they mainly, uh, you know, assemble the products and uh, also give support to the customers. And uh, we also have, uh, you know, temporary engineers. So we give on-site support to anybody and everybody across India. It can be the smallest of the village, biggest of the towns, and, uh, you know, our engineers go there and give them support, uh, whatever is required. Yeah. Wow. You just uh, take the airplane, the train, whatever? Uh, no, we have local people who give them support. All of India? All of India. Wow. From uh, the south to the north and everywhere? Everywhere, yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank okay. you. Cool. Okay. Thanks. So you grab it back. And maybe you can also have this back there. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Let's check. Still recording. Thank you. Yes. It's still on. Oh, nice. So let's uh, go to Mark. Good. Yeah. Maybe we can do this later. Right. Yeah. Uh, sure. But I guess we can do a, a tour through the floor after. Yeah. Hi. Would you like to be in the video? Interview? Yeah?
Okay, let's do over there. Yep. All right. All right, you, you can grab the, the microphone. Yes. Yeah. I'll give you the mic. Is it torture time? Yes. No, it's cool. It's cool. Yes, Harry. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> it's a torture time, right? Nice. All right. Cool. Okay. We can do a video after with your presentation, right? Maybe, or yeah, put it in your pocket. Okay. Okay. So please introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, hi. So who are you? Uh, my name is Harry Kim. I'm, I'm representing Fatech Korea. So I came from Korea. So what happened in Fatech Korea? Uh, Fatech Korea. Uh, yeah. We uh, established our company in two and a half years before uh, for that. So we had made a great success for designing the optical bonded outdoor signage for the 55 inches. And finally, we uh, could export 10,000 units of about 55 inches of outdoor signage to the United States for the electric car charging station. That was a great success and that's the biggest order in the world. Uh, for the optical bonded outdoor signage. So based on that, so Fate finally could design the uh, Volkswagen 43 inches outdoor signage so far. Is so it that, that one over there? Yeah, I think so. Can we have a look? Uh, I, I think, think that... No, I think that there's no... It's not this or no, no, this no. one? No, there's no. Not this? Okay. Yeah, there's that. All right. Uh, so the, does that mean... Um, the team in Korea does, uh, engineered it? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So we have... Uh, Actually, three engineers. One is our VP and CTO. He has a 35 years business experience and as well as for the uh, display engineer. He was a CTO of a huge company in Korea. Actually, he worked in LG Display for 15 years. And also, we have another FA director. He works for 25 years in a display uh, area. So we are proud of having a really excellent and a very well experienced engineers in Korea team. And also, um it depends. Sometimes the panel could be Korean panel. Yeah, right? absolutely. So we don't know if this one is or not, but it could be LG, it could be Samsung. Yeah. It's potentially. Does Fate take work with, with uh, Korean display well, supplier uh, for many years? But, you know, so of course, uh, Samsung and LG are the, the mostly the global companies as well as the display leaders. Mm -hmm. However, in the LCD point of view, uh, Samsung has changed their, their strategy to, they sold out all the LCD related industry to the CSOT in China's company. And also LG Display, they are continuing the business with uh, LCD business and especially they are focused on the very high end value such as outdoor displays as well for the in cell touches so far. But still, uh, Korean companies have the, the global leadership in the display uh, area so far. LG, they even have factories in China. Right? Absolutely. To make the LCD. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right, uh, so um, is it a fascinating business, Fatech Korea? There's so many potential with the, do you have customers, they come in and they say, hey, uh, can we do a new project? Sure. And then you talk with them? Sure, absolutely. We have uh, lots of uh, projects. And also we are developing the very unique uh, design of the optical bonded IAPD. So we, actually I was involved for developing the IAPD industry. So uh, that was another great success in my ex company. So finally I delivered more than 10,000 units of the 86 inches IAPD. So we uh, are developing optical bonded uh, 86, 75 inches IAPD for the Korean market as well as for the global market. So I'm leading uh, that project of designing. Which kind of uh, market is using 80, 85, 86 inch? 86 inch, uh, mostly they are in third desk for the uh, education uh, schools. And by the way, uh, beyond that, I'm looking for the enterprise market because the uh, enterprise market is coming and definitely the market will be booming up very soon. So I strongly believe that we so are developing. Is it this one? Yeah. Eight, 86 inch. Yeah, exactly. And uh, my Svetek logo right here. Good touch solution. Uh, well, not only for good touch solution, but also uh, there are lots of uh, factors we have to prepare. Uh, first one should be a very high speed of touch. And secondly, we have to do the very good quality of the displays. For, and also the third one could be the UI UX de designing. So how we can uh, reduce the touches and how we can do the optimizing of the UI UX so far. Is it engineered yep. in Korea? Yes, we do. So uh, there's expertise in uh, 
how to make this? You know, I'm the engineer, so for, yeah. <laughs> for the touch display as well. You have the engineers? Me, myself is the engineer yeah. for right. developing the touch UI UX. Uh, my majority in uh, graduate school is a software engineering, so I'm very familiar with the Android, and also nice. I'm very familiar with uh, for, uh, developing the logic trees and UI UX and touches so far. And how does it work with, um, um, let's say, a new project, uh, education or enterprise? Uh, uh, we are targeting both of the markets. The first one for the, of course, our biggest market is a B2G for the school users. However, beyond that, so we are targeting for the enterprise market, such as uh, Samsung and LG is developing. Uh, Samsung actually launched for the uh, in the name of Flip Order three years before, and they have been selling very well. So next year they had set a very huge demand of the production of Flip Order, at least uh, two hundred fifty thousand units in the world. So uh, we are targeting and we are designing the uh, uh, similar design for the enterprise market in Korea, but uh, as well as for the global market. And uh, how do the customers connect if they need to work together with the Chinese team, the Korean team, or you know? Um, it's a sharing, right? Uh, How the engineering happens, sometimes need to happen next to the factory. Right, right. So uh, I think at least the three parties have to be involved for the the owner of the project development could be our team. And secondly, the manufacturing team in China, such as the Fatec Manufacturing, and also there could be some other some parts suppliers, such as the IR sensors, such as some uh, touches, and such, uh, the other motherboard, and the other mechanical parts so far. So based on the three parties combination and cooperation, we can make it that the products will be happening. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Cool. All right. Thanks. No, that's mine. <laughs> that's payment. <laughs> Thank, cool. you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for the interview. Nice. So we just keep on going until the batteries die. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Great well. So back to the event, you can see Harrison Song. He's actually the general manager um, of Fatec uh, uh, Techco in, in Shenzhen, and he's introducing the whiteboard. So Chabak is walking in um, and he is actually just introducing the usage, you know, it's, it's a perfect product for education, uh, for business meetings, uh, for meeting rooms, offices, events, exhibitions. Um, moving on, we have here the 2 to 2 inch um, high brightness, 2,500 bits. So this is really, really bright. Um, normally high brightness units have around 1,000 bits, but this one has more than double that. And it's actually, um, this, this panel can actually be installed inside of a house to be used for the kiosks. Right. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get to those. I think later we'll go through all these products. Maybe I can uh, keep asking you guys to. Yeah, uh, I think because the, 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 the other team is already doing all the filming already. So I think we can just go ahead and. Hey, maybe grab. How are you? Can I just bring you? Okay, we are going to show you the mic. Yes. 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 Do I need some kind of a briefing or? Well, <laughs> yeah, you do the briefing. I do the briefing. Asking the questions. Hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Raphael Fleischmann from Germany, uh, and I'm leading the product management for the Fatec portfolio. Hello. All right. Hey, hi. <laughs> Your friend? Ah, <laughs> yes. oh, we do yes. video with you after also. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course. <laughs> All right. So, uh, leading product management. Yes, and uh, originally, yeah, when I started at Fatec, I developed all the optical bonding processes uh, at Fatec. How do you do that? It's kind of like a secret weapon, no? <laughs> if you want to I, say oh, that. this uh, amazing machine that has all these things. Did you design that machine? Um, yes, at least partly, yeah. So we started with a very simple process, mainly manual, and then developed into more automation 
Um, so I guess that's kind of the key probably of the success, especially for large formats, that you start simple and you make sure you have a reliable process instead of jumping into the highest automation and just fail, which other competitors did. Because uh, when you're a touchscreen company, it's kind of important to have a good touch experience, right? Sure, of, of course. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the key, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, optically bonded. What does that mean? So that means, uh, yeah, you have always uh, a, a cover glass for all the touch panel products, and, and behind the touch panel you have um, the display, and what we do by optical bonding is we fill up the gap, the air gap between the uh, touch panel and the display uh, with a material which has the same refractive index uh, as the cover glass. And by, th by that, you reduce the reflections to almost zero from everything coming behind. So the only reflection you have remaining is on a surface. This you will never get rid of. We can have AG uh, surfaces to also reduce that or anti-reflective uh, surfaces. And everything behind is taken away by the optical bonding process. Uh, because uh, a screen has many layers of stuff. Yes. And, and a touch screen has even more. Yes. But and you somehow combine them and make them... Uh... Basically, we make one, one complete stack. So uh, the optics uh, behavior is like when you have light going through one surface, uh, and every time you have a different material, you will get 4% reflection. So what we do is we bond each layer. So first you have the cover glass, and then you have the touch sensor. We bond these. So you, if you don't bond it, then you would have the first reflection there, or actually two, one going out of the glass into the air, next goes into the glass, you have another reflection, then you have next step between glass, touch panel, uh, display, there's the next reflection, and all the reflections coming behind that don't matter because they will go through the display again. But everything before the display will disturb you. Wow. And uh, there is uh, stuff about using outdoors. Yeah. Uh, and when you have good optical bonding, uh, the efficiency of the nits and everything, the also, backlight, yes. much increased. Yes. So you have both. One is the reflection from outside, right? The daylight going onto the display gets reflected. You can reduce that. But of course, it also works in the other way around. So the backlight coming f out of the display also has less reflection. By that, you increase the brightness of the display. And that, of course, increases the efficiency. Yeah. Uh, how has been the development? How long have you been in the Fatec? Uh, <laughs> I think seven years, eight years. Some of the what happened uh, those seven, eight years? There's been a lot of progress. Yes, for sure. I mean, for sure, we started like there was no optical bonding at all at that time when I joined. So it we was started just some kind of resistive thing. No, it was uh, no, it's also capacitive, but with yeah. the air gap between, right? Display and touch. So yeah, we started with small sizes, uh, di many different processes because it really depends on the product you want to bond. Um, uh, do you have a, a display module or a, a open so-called open cell or OLED or Bend or whatever? So there's quite some progress. So we started with the small sizes and uh, went up to larger sizes, uh, and up to 100 inch, and then now also the curve bonding. So we are still developing. The curve bonding is now available since like um, half a year probably. So yes. Nice, that curve bonding looks cool. I think he's talking about it right now, right there. Yeah. Huh? Yes, Can you indeed. explain what he says to talk about? You, you, you uh, speak about it, okay? Uh, stand here and talk. You can describe it. So I'll, I'll, I'll explain. I, yes, he's explained something about the curve, but in fact, I don't understand what he says. So. Um, so yes, it's it's a, a pre pre shaped glass which we which we have there uh, optically bonded to the uh, touch sensor uh, and then to the open cell display. That means the glass itself is bent, but uh, the open cell the, the, the actual display is straight. So what we have to do is we have to bend the display for the bonding process. That we have one combined bent uh, layer. That's what we do do there, and it's. In that case, mainly used for, for gambling. Yes. Um, yeah. I think he moved on to the strip type. Yes, strip type. So that's uh, kind of special because these displays um, you don't you usually can't just buy like that because they don't get produced in that shape. So uh, in this case, it's a it's a cut display. That means. Uh, the display is produced in a different shape and then it's cut into the size we need. Yeah.
E ink, yeah, is um, I guess e ink is, is well known, right? So mainly for like low energy uh, products. Yeah. Um, right now we have the Yes. Black and white. Yes, exactly. That's the next step. So black and white exists for a while now, uh, and uh, there also it also always depends on what's on the market because we do not produce the display itself, right? We buy the displays. So um, uh, and there are more and more uh, um, e-ink, uh, colored e-ink displays going onto the market. It and does the touch the e-ink. So that's independent from the display, right? It depends on whether we put a touch there. So of course we can do it with touch, yes. All right. Um, cool. And uh, when you do optical bonded with the e-ink, it's much, uh, what's it called, more visible? Clear. Yeah, it's, it's the same as, as a standard display. Um, of course, you, you reduce those reflections. Um, yeah. I saw this uh, huge machine. It's in Huichu, right? Uh, uh, yeah. optical, optical bonding, bonding machine. machine. Yes. So, like I said, so we we started with a rather manual process. That was just an X Y table, uh, and and now we have a complete automated machine for the large format optical bonding. Yes. One hundred percent robot. Not exactly. So the the loading process still is manual. Of course, it can be a robot, so easy to replace. But for us, it was just not not reasonable from. Um, yeah, in terms of cost versus uh, performance, yeah. Is there many so, fascinating new products to work on? New sure, projects? of course, that's like what yeah. everybody likes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Working on what old stuff is boring. What are secret projects? What is the so, next, next gen? Like, secret? we just saw there the launch of the... Uh, can we talk about this OLED? The, the transparent this? one? Yeah. Uh, sure, this? sure, I, I can yeah. talk about it. <laughs> So what do we see here? So yeah, that's a transparent uh, OLED uh, kiosk. So unfortunately, we don't have everything assembled yet. So actually, here is supposed to be a printer and a termin uh, payment terminal uh, scanner. So this will be a vending machine. Nice. And this could be there, or it could be in the front. It doesn't have to be in the middle of the box. No, it does not have to be. Of course not. So this is actually the first prototype. Um, we will still develop that product. Um, probably there's some chance to um, also get rid of the black mass printing. That's actually not necessary. It's just our design. So maybe there will be a next version where we don't have that. Maybe shrink that frame. Uh, currently, it's just there to make sure it's stable. Um, but in fact, it would be stable enough probably without that frame. So there's still Is some optically stuff. bonding stuff happening yes, here. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we have a touch panel also on one side. On that side, we have a touch panel, uh, and the touch panel is optically bonded to the OLED. On all the other side, there's another glass plate just to stabilize it. All right. so, it looks cool, no? Of course, such a design you can only do with optical bonding, right? Because otherwise, um, yeah, it wouldn't really, really look like that. And uh, people are going to be quite excited to see a transparent OLED when they order the burgers. I mean, it's just, just. It's cool, right? New, right? It's like innovative, I don't know, yeah. All right. And do uh, you want to talk about some of the... Let's go right here. If you don't mind. So how do you, how do you make this happen? Yeah, yeah, so I said a little bit about it when, when, you, when I was there. Um, so... Yeah, the, the, the bent bonding process is, is, is not, not something everybody can do. That's, that's kind of special. Um, also for, I mean, there, there are a lot of fully automated machines, especially for larger sizes. Um, but these machines are not able to do that, right? So that's a special process where you need to apply to really be... What are they signing? Do you want to explain on the mic? 
Good evening. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. You're welcome. So actually, they're signing now partner agreements between various companies. So we have, uh, I think, a total of four companies coming up on stage to sign partner and distributor agreements between us and Paytech. So this is really exciting. You know, we're getting more um, chances to sell our products here in China locally as well. So we're really trying to compete in this local market as well. So how big is the China market for Paytech? Um, there, there's a lot of potential, there are lots of opportunities. But the, the problem with the Chinese market is also that there's a lot of competitors. So it's a very competitive market. Um, there's a lot of um, lower quality. Lower, yeah, so there's lower quality, lower costs, right? So it's, it all depends on um, what the customer is looking for. So if they, for sure, Fatec is low, low cost, high quality, right? That's that's Fatec. Um, but you can still see a lot of competitors in this market. So it's a different market than US or Europe or North America. And here you can see Arne shaking hands. Um, After, after the signing. Uh, so actually, now after the signing, then um, I believe we will go for dinner later. All right. <laughs> I think it's almost dinner time. So. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we'll give you a little microphone. Yes, I... Let me put the microphone right. on you. Yes, please. Yeah, maybe you can put this in your pocket or hold it. Okay, Hey. So please introduce yourself. Sorry, I didn't get it. Uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Martin, Martin Klose, the executive director here of the German Chamber in the south southwest of China. Uh, would you say Fatec is the best? combination of German uh, quality with the Chinese manufacturing? Absolutely, they combine with their teams how, uh, of, of Chinese and German uh, uh, entrepreneurs and, and product developers to, to really uh, uh, bring the German quality and the Chinese speed together. And uh, the, it's like an amazing story, you know? It did. is, absolutely. I mean, they started up uh, in 2001, if I'm not wrong, and now uh, only 22 years later, they are an uh, international company operating all over the world, having R&D here in China, in Germany, in many other places. Uh, so for sure, it's a success story. And this is a huge opportunity for German companies to do more collaboration with the Chinese uh, manufacturing, right? That, this is a huge opportunity for sure. Uh, uh, you have to engage uh, here with the, with the Chinese uh, uh, entrepreneurs, with the Chinese um, companies to, to really uh, understand uh, and, and uh, also utilize the speed of innovation that uh, Chinese companies bring to the table. Shenzhen is an amazing city. Shenzhen is a fantastic city, yes. You find uh, 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 you're in the heart of the GBA, you have all the big tech companies uh, located here, you have connectivity, you have Hong Kong uh, uh, just over the, over the, over the bay, uh, uh, and you have all the other fantastic cities here in the greater bay area. Uh, you have talents, uh, you have uh, venture capital, everything that you need to be successful. And all the German car companies, they all have a Chinese, uh, uh, what's it called, activity, right? Volkswagen and all the uh, BMW, Daimler, sure. everybody's doing a lot of stuff in China, right? 
Sure, there, there, there is a lot of things uh, happening uh, right now if it comes to R&D also on the, on, the, on the electrical vehicles, for example. This is uh, something where there is a lot of investment, a lot of uh, uh, activity uh, also from the German side. Would you yeah. say there, there needs to be more and more collaboration between Germany Can only be helpful, and for sure, yes. Uh, so the potential is huge, and uh, it's when sometimes it's an economic crisis a little bit, maybe the opportunity is a tighter collaboration, working more together. Yeah, you see it all, I would say, right? Some are working closer together, some are also um, looking at uh, um, de-risking their, their operations. So some are getting closer here, some are, are, are looking into other opportunities. Uh, it's a broad uh, spectrum uh, and you basically have to analyze your own risk, uh, your own portfolio uh, to, to understand and decide what you want to do. So how does it work with the German uh, Chamber of Commerce? What is the relationship with the companies and stuff like that? Well, we, we uh, are a membership organization here in, in, in China. We are a platform for our members to connect with each other, with uh, Chinese uh, companies to understand the market, uh, to, to, to network, to uh, make them better. All right, and do you, is there other success stories also? You can, like, uh, Fatec is one of the coolest ones, right? But uh, there's a of bunch, course, bunch sure. of other projects. There are a bunch of other, other success stories here, uh, for sure. Uh, especially down here in the south, it's, it's uh, an area of China where traditionally a lot of foreign investment also happens. Uh, so you have a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of success stories. Is it hundreds of companies? Sure, yes, Thousands. you can say. Uh, if you look at membership, uh, overall in China, the German Chamber has 2,100 members. Altogether, the figure, what we say, uh, in all over China is around 6,000, 5,000 to 6,000 German companies who are active here. That's huge. Yes, it's a huge and it's market. Great for Germany. Pardon? It's great for Germany. Sure. Yes. Yeah. It's great. It's it's a it's a great destination. It's it's uh, uh, one of the. It's still the biggest uh, trading partner of Germany for consecutive seven years. Uh, 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 so we we have a lot of things in common, uh, and uh, looking to find ways how we will cooperate with each other in the future. And when there is a little bit of a crisis sometimes, do people call you and say, hey, we need to push, we need to push something forward, uh, promote some new collaboration, something like that? Uh, well, if there is a crisis, I think the first thing what we would also recommend, what, our, what, what we are called out, uh, is how can we analyze our risk, right? So this is something uh, where uh, we all have to do our homeworks and, and where we, as a German train, but try to support our members also as good as possible. You know? Analyze your own portfolio, look at uh, 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 what you want to do, uh, you want to go more into China, you want to sort of de-risk yourself. Uh, this is very much depending on, on, your, on your business model, on your, on your products. So actually a crisis brings new opportunities? Of course, yeah. Ch crisis always brings also opportunities. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. Thanks a lot, Martin. All right. Uh, let's go over here. Now it's time for the juice. Um, 好,那麼接下來呢,有請我們現場的所有領導嘉賓呢,一步到我們的台前進行。Hey, hey, hey, Michael. So, um, this is the photo. Oh. Ah, for some reason I don't get the sound. I think it's part of. Oh, thanks. So that was a photo, group photo. Yeah, photo. Yes. So they were taking a picture for the uh, 
yeah, with the new partners, European Chamber, German Chambers, um, General Manager of Fatec, Arne, All founding, right. founding Manager. Okay. Hi. Uh, so please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Mark. Uh, I'm the under D director of Fatec. Uh, currently, I'm leading a team of uh, about uh, 30 people. Our team is growing. Um, uh, next year, we will have. We are defining new roles for the next year, which is uh, project engineering. We, which uh, project engineers will follow up on customer demands and. Uh, so it's, uh, I, f I feel excited about the new role in our team, number one. And uh, secondly, uh, in Fatech, we do a, no a big variety of uh, products. That is also an exciting part of the job. We are, are using a wide variety of technologies in the world, and we are also developing uh, the most advanced uh, AI products for our customers. Uh, to summarize, to need an energetic and ever-growing team and uh, working on great products, it's uh, really exciting. I like the job. How about the 30, 30 engineers, right? 30 uh, we are a little bit short of 30 at this moment. We will be reaching 30 maybe next year. Yeah. And uh, how do you decide what to research? You, you, you're working on the cutting edge, the future product? Mm -hmm. Or are you working on the current product to help the customer make it work? Or m both? So most of the time, we work on projects meeting our customer requirements. However, you know, uh, in Fatec, uh, we also define our standard product lines. That means we need to think about the strategy of our own standard products. And also in one year, three year, five year, what are our uh, technical capability or what is our te technical roadmap should be. We need to uh, uh, think about that. But you know, we are a medium-sized company. We are very flexible, and we are. And let's walk. Let's walk over there. Uh, let's go right over here. Uh, let's go. Uh, I have to give a um, so let's talk about some of these products, for example. What's happening here? Uh, this is uh, the, uh, the highlights. I would say one of the highlights of 2023. This is our transparent OLED uh, products we roll out in this year. Uh, All right. Mm. Can be touch. Yes, this is is a touch screen display. Nice. And there's a bigger one. Yeah. How big is this one? Is yes, this is a fifty-five inch one. Fifty-five. Yeah. This nice. is a fifty-five inch one. So um, let's let's talk a little bit more about the uh, the R and D. For example. Do you work together with this company to make this, uh, this screen? To be honest, uh, this product was developed before I joined this company. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a looking glass. Yeah. This, this is the biggest looking glass. Yes. This product was developed before I joined this company, but uh, uh, I really like the uh, holographic technology because that is really the frontier of the uh, display technology. It's amazing. Yeah, in future, you know, you will, we will realize the uh, scenario of that uh, what happened in Star Wars. You know, holographic uh, communication. You can speak with the actor directly and say, "Hey, Bond, 
uh, what's up? And he will speak back to you. Sure, that is the future. And you arrive and he will be like, so what would you like, some fries with your burger? You know? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. That's like the next, next, next generation. Yeah, that is the frontier of the display technology, I would say. So how long time have you been with the Fatec? Uh, I joined Fatec uh, in March uh, this year. So I have been working here for nine months uh, up to today. So, uh, what is the biggest challenge in your work? Uh, the biggest challenge uh, for me is that uh, I would say the first thing is that uh, we are a very fast pacing company and we need to be developing a wider variety of products. I need to get up to speed with every product category we have. That is the challenge I faced in probably the first three months. Uh, then after that, it is about how, we, how I grow the team, how I find the best talent that fits our needs, how we have a fully functional team with the right talent in place. That is the second biggest challenge after the three months. How do you find the talents? Uh, of course, I find the tenants, uh, one is uh, cooperating with our HR department colleagues. Uh, secondly, I find the tenants with my uh, social relationship, with my work relationship, you know, my past uh, careers. And uh, we, we do have some success, good success. We have, we have some good uh, tenants recruit. What was your past careers? My past career was uh, uh, in my pa I have been working for 30 years. My whole career is about the hardware development. Hardware is the best. Yeah. Software is cool also, but hardware is cool. Uh, I'm a, a very down-to-earth man. I like uh, real things. Touch. Yeah. Real things. I like a real things. And the hardware is the foundation of the software. No matter how good you write the software without the hardware, you cannot make it work. And Shenzhen, Guizhou, is the center of the world for the hardware. Um, I would say in, that is partially true. Shenzhen really is uh, supplying a huge variety of the hardware available in this world. Uh, but innovation-wise, I think the uh, U.S. is still innovating on the core technology, like uh, semiconductors, artificial intelligence, frontiers. So, that's uh, in Taiwan, no? Taiwan also. We are still yeah. uh, catching up. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I hope it works. <laughs> yeah, it works cool. Okay. Cool. Maybe thanks. you can grab it back for you. Yes. Let's continue. Just uh, maybe we do a little break and. Uh... Yeah, this one is empty actually. This one. Ah, huh. battery. Yes, for this one. Okay. Okay. So where do you want to go? Uh, we just uh, let's let's do the outro a little bit. Yeah. All see. right. So this was a great event. Definitely, it was a great success. As you can see, the the room was filled with people. Right. One hundred seventy people attended, I believe. And thanks for doing my second angle. How yeah. do you like this DJI Pocket Three? Yeah, it's. Uh, I had to get used to it a little bit with double press buttons and. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's it's really cool. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think you can use the materials also from this one. It's going uh, a little bit high right now, no? Yeah, it's going. The problem is oh, I have to somehow. change yeah, I don't it again. Know how that works. This one, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to learn it. All right. Oh, well, now it's spin. Now it's a spin mode. <laughs> spin mode. But now it's okay, I think. I, I, I recalibrated. Yeah. All right. That was amazing. Huge event. And now everybody's gone over to the dinner, uh, which is right over yes. there. Let's go have a look. <coughs> is there going to be some nice Chinese food at the dinner? Yes. Definitely. 
some high class Chinese food. Oh. Um, Barbecue? I have no idea. It's a surprise. All right. Let's go have a look. Oh, be careful. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> and uh, we need to do a video with you. Huh? You want to do, do a video? video? An interview? Now? If you want. Yeah. After lunch. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> go to eat. <laughs> All right. So I guess survived. did you get that? It's gonna get a lot of views. My my fall. <laughs> I, I think I got part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're at table not here. All right. Uh, Chinese food is the best food in the world, no? Yes. Do you think? It's yes, better I like than Dutch it. food. Yes, <laughs> the Dutch food has no much Dutch food. <laughs> All right, so there's Maybe. going to be some show over there. Uh, yes. You're going to do some singing later. Maybe KTV. <laughs> going to do some. Hi. So please introduce yourself. So my name is Francine Hadjusotia Yu. I work for the European Chamber of Commerce in China, uh, South China chapter, and we are um, very pleased to have Feitech as one of our key member at the European Chamber. So what happens at the European Chamber? So our role is to bridge uh, the uh, foreign invested enterprise, the European companies with the Chinese government uh, in order to address the issues, to find solutions, to have the support from the government. Um, so this bridge is essential to be successful in China. So you know how to speak with the Chinese government? We do you that on a regular basis, indeed. We have contacts at Guangdong level, at uh, municipal level as well, provincial and municipal level, uh, and also our colleagues with the minister level, uh, our colleagues in Beijing. Uh, we have uh, nine officers all over China, and uh, uh, we have two of them are in the Guangdong province, uh, but we cover four, four provinces in the South China. So, so what's the more specific things people need? Currently, what people want to have is to uh, understand the business trends, but also have clarification on regulations, uh, the supports they can have uh, from the government whenever there is a solution. Uh, of course, all, reg all regulation related to tax issues, uh, subsidies if there are any, uh, but also understand the overall uh, business environment where they are working. Because the Chinese uh, uh uh, governments have been very, uh, what's called, uh, uh, efficient in, in promoting and subsidizing new projects, right? Mm -hmm. And just making huge projects happen, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I mean, usually the Chinese government have a very clear plan on what they want to develop, the industry that they want to have in their city, in their province. Uh, and what is very good in China is when they want to do something, it happens. Um, and this is where the European companies have an added value in China because they are innovative, because they have uh, good practice in terms of human resources, uh, they employ people, they develop them, they pay tax. So all of these uh, things are win-win between the European companies and China. Win-win uh, because it helps China as well as it uh, provides uh, opportunity to do business for the European companies. So here we had the Feitech event, for example. There's a lot of success stories, right? Indeed. Some amazing partnerships between yeah. European companies, Chinese companies, to bring new innovation to exactly. the world. It's not just accessing the Chinese market or selling stuff in Europe. It's no. everything. Yes. So uh, the companies do, doing business here uh, are successful when they are fully using the ecosystem uh, that uh, China and South China provides. Uh, so Feitech is a very good example of very innovative companies and it's really a pleasure to see uh, a medium-sized company uh, growing so well. It's not easy, but it's happening, it's possible. Uh, so really congratulations to Feitech for having achieved what they have done in uh, such a short time. Because I've done many interviews with uh, Arna and over the decade and it's, it sounds like hard work. This is hard work to bring your company forward and everything. Yeah. But uh, that's why people need collaboration, collaborators, uh, staff, uh, hiring, yes. finding talents, yes. bringing maybe visa free a bunch of uh, Europeans to come live here. And, mm. or maybe at least to 
Mm. Now there's a 15 mm. days, right, for France and Germany. That's amazing. For five European uh, yeah. countries uh, and, uh, so for, and also Malaysia. So really good uh, for business people, for people coming uh, on a short uh, visit as well. So for tourism, it will help but definitely for business people, because in two weeks you can do a lot. So that's No need really visa at all, just come. Exactly, and yeah. before with the visa, it was uh, complicated uh, to get the visa, get the flight, um, being not sure to obtain the visa, or when to yeah. have it. So now, you just need your business meeting and you can come. So now it's uh, simpler. So a very good move from the Chinese government on this. I love thing. it. But could you make the phone call to your contact and ask to bring all Europe and Schengen? I would love to. And I think that this is a good sign. And it brings people to people together. Um, this is really good. And certainly, and because the government has also announced that as a one year period for sure, and they will learn from that and certainly develop to other countries, hopefully. And it should be reciprocated in Europe. The Chinese so, should be able to get there also. Yeah. But then it needs to be all of Schengen. Right? Exactly. So exactly. The, the, if they can yeah. invite all Schengen, then they can go to all Schengen. That's one way to do. And this is up to the um, European uh, companies in the Schengen uh, area that will uh, discuss this. Uh, I'm sure this is help. such a great success that they will, it will continue. It will stay forever, permanent. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason why not to continue it. It can only bring uh, good businesses uh, to China, uh, a faster decision. What was lacking in the past year due to COVID and the restriction linked to COVID is that the people could not come, could not see, could not witness the speed of China. So now with the tr business trips resuming, we can finally have uh, important strategic decision being made um, and, and, and for the people to, to come and realize uh, what China is nowadays. And this is a very difficult question, but uh, is, is uh, uh, Shenzhen the opportunity to find new ideas when there's a global crisis also? Maybe when there's a crisis, you need to find some new, hmm. new markets, right? When there are issues or difficulties, people have to find solutions, and it's certainly the time when uh, companies and, and people have to adapt. Uh, find different ways of working and it's uh, where um, what we have seen in the past uh, years and all the time in, in Shenzhen when people have um, uh, find solutions to be able to, to continue to do business and um, this is uh, also what is happening here where uh, people are able to adapt and take decision uh, in a fast speed and this is really what we see, which is specific to China, uh, is really the speed of decisions, uh, the support of, of government ma that makes things happen, uh, and the uh, capability of people to adapt. So with this recipe, success is possible. Do they have very efficient government? Uh, the government is willing to support. Uh, what happens sometimes is that uh, there are several bureaus that need co to coordinate, and these takes a bit of time. So we have seen in certain situations where it was not as fast as we thought. However, coordination is uh, needed. Uh, what matters is not uh, to just uh, think that, you know, decision and from the government can be done very easily, is to be able to talk to the right government at the right time and to be able to understand the overall situation. So having the connection and being informed really makes a huge difference when you want to have a decision being made and support being given. The whole world is jealous of Shenzhen, no? Mm -hmm. Because Shenzhen is just an amazing place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm guessing it's like amazing that so much can happen so quickly over the last decade, mm. two decades. Yeah. Uh, the growth, the potential, mm. and how f to get things done so fast, mm -hmm. it's like amazing, right? It, it is amazing. Uh, what is uh, specific to Shenzhen is also that the government created this city as a pilot. And this is also a concept which is done in China uh, to have a pilot or even a part of the city which is run as a pilot. And from that, you learn. From that, you analyze. 
and you make it better um, and you improve. So this is uh, really what has been done in Shenzhen uh, since it's not establishment because it was existing before as a village, as you know, uh, but since the opening of China. Um, and these create a really specific uh, ecosystem uh, that allow things to happen and, uh, and to work. It's efficient. Cool. Awesome. All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you to you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, so please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Haber uh, from uh, Huizhou uh, Fitech. I'm in charge of the, the factory from the touch panel and the oct bonding. Uh, let's uh, introduce our products. So um, how is it going with the big machine uh, for optical mm -hmm. bonding? Uh, actually, you know, for we developing the, the first uh, in China uh, for, the, for the big size of uh, uh, octa bonding by manually. Uh, later, we are doing the auto or uh, 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 bonding machine by ourselves. Automatic. Automatic. Yes. Uh, you can. I think you can. You can see uh, the the machine when when we uh, uh, visit the factory. So here is the interesting. We are first one to try to do the uh, curve uh, 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 bonding. The full bonding. It's uh, uh, at least we know in the area. We are first one to do these products. It's totally uh, solved. The 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 shadow and the reflection make the, the display have a, uh, have a big problem with when the, when the outside the lights are uh, 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 strongly uh, on the outside. So you can, we can see later in the finished uh, products, they are you know, uh, really, really good for the, for, the, for the display. Even so far away, you can see the, the results. So, um that's thanks to the optical bonding. Yes. Um, we are first the one. First one yeah. in the world. Yes. I think, you know, and from my knowledge, nobody doing such things before, since they are really, really, really easy to broken the, the OC. We use our solution to make the, the, the TFT a bend. It's a, it's a nature. And uh, uh, you need to have very good quality assurance so yeah. it doesn't break. No. Uh, so, it, so it stays stable? Yes. So before, when people do in the cube uh, products, they use uh, air bonding, just a very slim, very slim uh, double, double set tap uh, glue to, to make. So the, the strength is very strong to make the TFT is broken. But think about this. We use a surface glue to make all the surface to, to bond it to the to the uh, cup glass. That means no too much pressure to each point. That means we are, we are safety for the, for, the, for the display. And uh, how do you make it automatic? Um, it's that's a big a, machine. Yeah, that's not the only big machine. It's a, we care every step. We're devo developing every step to use the machine to uh, replacement the manual uh, process. That's uh, how to say it? it's a, it's a know-how. That's our secret. Sorry to say so, but uh, it's really we're developing the good process. We know how to make it manually. Then slowly we use each machine to replacement the manual process. When it's automatic, you can make high quantity, lower cost. Sure. Uh, you know, whatever uh, the in factory or production, the the, the work cost in the world it's uh, it's most uh, higher so when you use the machine you can make the uh, every piece is the same same quality uh, than easy control and uh, 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 easy sit up just the sit up the, the machine then you know uh, not make the people you know to, to uh, make the bad quality and uh, you use the best glue technology Sure, our glue, you know, I think uh, can show you the sample. We are really good for the, for the, for the temperature, uh, operation temperature range. You know, for this one, we are soaked before the customer use this for airplane. It's a request a very lower, like the manual 55 degree. But uh, the problem is um, the, the display should be bonded to the, gla uh, uh, not glass, it's a PC 
to the glass and the film to the glass, then to the LCM, you know, for the film, uh, use the OCA, the, because the OCA cannot survive for such low temperature, but the, our silicon can survive for minor 55 to, to 120 degree. So, how to bond the film with the liquid glue? It's a really challenge. So we use our know-how to bond this and survive in the low temperature and support our customer in the, in the airplane. And uh, how is it going in the Huizhou factory? You know, we are separate from Shenzhen Fitech just uh, keep the developing in Shenzhen and we move to Huizhou. We want to have a, a big uh, improvement and uh, make it a big area for our output is uh, increase up. So we, we are easier get the space to uh, set up our output bounding line. The, that means machine events, we can make much more efficiency. All right, so that was a, an amazing show here. Uh, sure, I, from my side, you know, uh, it's, a ch it's a big challenge, but uh, from the result, we are a uh, part of, of, of this result with uh, a government support and uh, our uh, team work. We are successful for this party. Cool. All hey, right. Niklas, welcome to have you back in Huizhou. And I mean, you filmed already the whole afternoon. Thank you very much for this. It's now empty. Let's make a short wrap up that I go probably myself through the product. It was such a cool event. It was really, I, I think, really, I enjoyed it How a lot. How do you fully and book it? How do you make sure there were so many people? I, I, I was really surprised. I, I swear they came all by their own will. You didn't <laughs> they were not anyone? paid, uh, nothing. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm really happy. And um, to be frank, for sure, also happy that it's now over. So you are the final wrap up and then we, we happily go, go back. So let me shortly, I think this is the right pitch. We go shortly through. Yeah. We don't make it too long, but yeah. that I w one time shortly introduce. And this is really super cool. Um, you know Afei, he was since 2010 with me. You had him 2013 in the first video. There he was still our warehouse guy. And he's always my favorite guy developing like crazy. He has his own factory like now. We, we did the joint venture with uh, Zentner and Paytech. And he came up now to say, wow, I want to have my own product. And that's what he did. He has his own software guy who developed it. And it goes up when you drive over. So it's a single parking lot, which um, is now seen already in several cities. He won already several cities in China. I want to introduce it next year to the um, international market. So you drive over after 50 minutes, it drives up. <laughs> and you can't go until you uh, scan the QR code. So and nobody pay. can steal the car? Right. No, yeah, you not steal, but you ah, also cannot it, drive away without paying. <laughs> ah, it's like a rental system. Uh, rental, yeah, it's a, like the single park rental tool. And ah. um, I think it's perfect for small hotels, um, pharmacies, whatever, in the city where you have not enough um, parking spaces and you are annoyed when somebody parks there where you don't want to do it. He had his own software where you can see every parking uh, slot, how often it's used, where it is used. And um, I think it's really a, a very cool product. Basically nothing to do with our products, but it comes from Fatec and I, I, I love it. So then, then we go here. We, we start from what, what you saw today, our, um, our optical bonding, touch sensor production, touch panel production, lamination, what we do here in Hoicho. And that's special again. We every, every year improve, develop. Now we started to do bended um, bondings, which is the next level. So we it's a standard optical bonding. Then we started to have optical bonding for aviation industry. And now we go into um, the bended displays. Um, what does which it mean, also aviation industry? So In the cockpit? Uh, cockpits do not, but um, we, we won the first airplane where we are um, um, for in the um, usage in the cabin. Um, 11.6 inch, we, we made a news about this. We are really very proud about it. This is like and a VAP seat in the airplane. The big and this size. one is a uh, big seat. It's right, it's very funny. We have now a next project in the aviation industry where they really want a bandit, so we go next level. But this we did for the casino um, gaming. And so this is, let's say, all different products we do here in Huizhou. We do um, um, touch sensor to cover glass lamination. Then we do this touch panel to LCD module or open cell lamination, and then we happily add um, special glasses, cutouts, um, special coatings, very nice cases. You see here a new um, vehicle um, project where you have a single 
special connector um, which used in special machines. And this is, let's say, the Huizhou world we have. And then we have our, let's say, swinging world <laughs> where we produce full products, finished products, which are normally developed in, in Germany and um, Shenzhen, global developed products. And um, we have here some special <laughs> machines. Um, this one are the typical HMIs, where you put them in factories and you, you run machines, you optimize your workspace. Um, here you have, uh, you know, it, even an emergency button and you see the software reacted. Um, I don't know if you saw it on the video, but <laughs> otherwise you imagine. The, the mirror now, now has a revival. We have this quite long um, offering and we just uh, kicked off in, in the US um, a project with 65-inch. Um, this one you see um, everywhere in Europe in um, fast chargers for electric cars. 43-inch, more than, I think in the meantime, 4,000 units are, are shipped what together. Yes. Yeah. 4,000 chargers? Yeah, this. fast charger, 200 kilowatt fast chargers, double and fast chargers. Do people click anything? They, they, oh, they click it on the 10.1 inch. So the 10.1 inch uh, drives uh, the um, um, whole system charger and the 43 inch is used um, for uh, advertisement. And again, we are really proud of this. When you see it from the side, it's quite a special uh, feature we invented. We have uh, two special coated glasses here, which uh, make secure they block um, all the um, heat from the sunlight. And so this one was the only product by the customer um, which survived their um, crazy demanding, crazy demanding requirement um, to have 10 days um, the theoretical highest possible sunlight radiation on Earth shining directly on the product under the extreme um, temperature. And we, again, this product survived it. Then this is now the new big, let's say, modularity we, we designed. So, we separated our products in front kit and back kit. And, and so this is really like, um, before we had a touchscreen monitor, a touchscreen PC, an embedded PC. And so you had for one size several models, right? And you had really a lot warehousing and service and whatever. And so what we do now is um, that we say, we, um, we have just a front kit and the connectors are always the same. You can easily connect. And we have then different back kits. So it can be um, monitors, it can be um, ARM PCs, it can be touchscreen PCs, Which one are these, x86 based. Um, so, so this one is, uh, for example, the um, x86 based. It's an Alcott Lake. And then, for example, we have a larger with a um, DC DC, which, which you have. Um, the ARM board is right now uh, not, not here, sorry, opened. It's, um, for example, um, behind uh, that one. Um, so we offer for sure for um, ARM, Android or Linux. And this is again very important. Um, we do the BSP, so the board support package out of our own source codes. And we bring now the, um, um, the embedded board into the mainline kernel. So it's automatically updated, the Linux kernel. And, and so we make secure that our customers really have always the newest, the best supported um, system. And this is for sure again for industrial customers, super important. They don't want to have any change without control. And we can give them even the um, source code, right, that they have full control. Full control. Absolute control. And this one now is, um, and we can't wait, and this is really a sneak peek view. This is the first time ever, no, when, when you were in Shenzhen, you had a first view on our um, stainless steel, and you can go back, and it was really still ugly and not finished, but here we are. So here is now really our final stainless steel IP65. This is IP a cyber truck of uh, touchscreen PCs. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? You, you, perfectly right. And we have um, this with a, um, that's a feature in IP65, where you can use standard um, cables, but it's still IP65. Or then for the crazy people, let's say, you, you have the M12 connectors where you go fully uh, ruggedized and we are now testing it for being even IP69K. That's our, our target to, to make it that, that it really survives everything. This is a PC, so we have a cooling profile. When it's a monitor, um, it's, it's without. And what's but the idea of the stainless here, steel? You can, you can mix. So stainless steel is important for the food industry, for example, um, where they have special requirements, uh, IP69K, for example, especially for cleaning. But for, for sure, it's a ruggedized outdoor solution wherever it's super heavy. And um, fitting heavy, we have our um, tablet. This is not new, but really nicely sold. We also steadily update it with new processors and, and performance, but keeps the main idea the same. It's, it's funny, in um, South Africa, we have it 
where we replaced the docking station by a thumb um, reader and a 5G module. So that's it, you know, that's our strength to modularize and uh, to customize the products uh, following the customers they want. I think this one is one of our most beautiful products. It's um, for um, outdoor intercom, it's fully waterproof. Is it the butterfly? Has, um, no, it's our, our own solution, um, Fatec. Um, but right for Butterfly, we produce more than 10,000 units. They are hanging everywhere in New York. But this is now our own um, intercom all solution. All over the US? It's really all over the US. Um, we, we can go here. Very nice, the 4K OLED 15.6 um, um, inch. This is uh, what, what we introduce also next year into the market, where, where you want to have a slim, high, high resolution, high, high performance model. This one, you, you know already, that's a pity that you can't see it in the video, right? but it's uh, the um, looking glass uh, 3D 65, uh, 65 inch? inch monitor and it's yeah you know it it's fantastic it's amazing. and looking glass you know they are very uh, successful do you have customers? they just uh, that has produced quite I mean, a lot quite you, a you lot. saw when you go to our company and were careful you saw a lot yeah. and um, but they for example just kicked off a looking glass go which yeah. is a small sister are and uh, they are that? super successful and they oh, the kickstarter is like million yeah. dollars I mean. yeah. That's awesome. It's Fantastic. democratizing light field yeah. display. No, and you want to do a lot of light field? It's we, um, we cooperate with Looking Glass, let's say it that way. And we are really very happy for their success. Yeah. This is now our new 30 inch um, um, look through um, um, display. And that's it, the 55 inch, the 30 inch. So we want to push um, on the point of sale. Um, and, and I think this gives you really the aha effect. We, we um, should prepare a little bit more, but when, when you look through, you know, it's, it's like the room goes magic. And based on this magic idea, we, um, we, we did a kiosk. It, it was really like we had a, a, the meeting with the LG product manager of this product, and we felt like, okay, what cool thing we can do? And we made a rendering, and we showed him this, and he says, wow, this is fantastic. I want to have this on every exhibition next year. And then we say, OK, then let's, let's do, right? And I'm pretty sure you will see this next year on a lot of exhibitions, and hopefully, for sure, soon in some chains, right? And it's for sure the, you can optimize it more, but I think it's the most cool um, kiosk design you can it have. It could be uh, here or there. Yeah, right it's, now, it's in the middle. We, we will plan also to have a second one, left, right, and then, again, you have for, for sure, you can play with the see-through effect, and the, the room looks far nicer, larger. Yeah. It's not cut. Um, very yeah, nice. Yeah, it's feeling. like uh, if you put this, for example, in the KFC McDonald's, you know, you're not blocking the view. Exactly. You still see what's exactly. happening behind. Exactly. You see all the staff making yeah. their burgers. You, you, could do, <laughs> you could do like this. Okay, we talked about this already, yeah. um, but uh, very short. Um, and that's our new AI device. Um, I, I link here to the video we just did, right, when, when the Major came in. But the, the thing is, here runs a short demo. And um, when, when you go back, you see it. We, it, it um, this demo shows now what it um, can find. And happily, they identify us as persons. <laughs> and, but, but that's it, that we have here a super price efficient, price performance um, system, which is ex good enough for detection. So again, it's uh, a little bit slower, like probably the Jetson NVIDIA solution, right? But it's far, far cheaper. 10 and, times cheaper. And it's Maybe. Yeah, what I just said. And it's, um, it's really good enough for the, for the purpose. And I can't wait. We are writing now software models on this and, and getting it in a lot of new industries. And there's a module program. right here with a cool uh, ARM CPU. Yep, exactly. Uh, a very good and uh, with a net it has, network. Yeah, it has. Um, so you you say tops trillion operations per second on the NPU neural processing unit, and this one has five tops. This is really a good value. You can you can check, and um, again we and we people can buy just the camera and do a bunch of processing, or they can also combine with the screen. I, I tell you a secret. It's in every of our ARM back kits. So basically, you can also just buy our ARM back kit get support from us and connect any USB camera. But for sure, for the ones who wants to have it nice and for, for um, then the, the tailored market, that you can daisy chain the devices, that you can go and hop and have a nice design, for sure, this is the way you should go next year. There's a lot then, of work that can be done in the API and the, 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 the possibilities for this market, it's, right? It's a lot of work, I tell you, to get all the AI models running on this, like the TensorFlow, the PyTorch, the Onyx model. <laughs> And Lothar, you have seen him. 
He's now for weeks just focusing on supporting our customers to get their AI models running well on the machine. But that's again, again our strength and competition advantage against other suppliers. We really give you full support. And when, you give we, when we give you a hardware, we make secure that you can use it well. And others say, oh, this is what we have and eat, eat it or forget it. And we say, okay, no, you have a problem, we, we solve it. Th this one is, is really a very nice story of being ours uh, more and more international. Um, this product really solely exists because Harrison joined us. Harrison, our Shenzhen general manager, and I, I think I told you um, last time you visited ours in, in Shenzhen that um, he was the before LG Display Factory manager, and this is really now his success and our new whiteboard. And what I really like of, from it, it's, it has a 48 megapixel camera, so it's really, you have a fantastic um, video and um, we have an 8 array mic. So this is really enough for, okay, probably not the whole room, but let's say half, and normally there is no meeting room larger, but you have really just this okay, device conference. and you have, a perfect, you have a perfect sound and a perfect picture. And the camera goes where you speak, you saw it also before. So, so I, I really love this product. It can product. zoom in. And, right, it zooms in, out. And um, um, so, so it's really the, the perfect tool for um, your, your meeting rooms. And for sure, you have all the writings you can share with your mobile, with your um, notebook. We make this video, and it's, it's really nice. Um, this one is, um, again, a full outdoor unit. And that's the story when I, we went to our company in our aging room. We have in our aging room a full sunlight radiation test. And, um, Really, for, for example, you know, AUO sells a thousand nits display, but specifies it from zero to 50 degrees. So how, how shall you use this outdoor? Because when you use it outdoor, there is a higher sunshine. And we had a customer who insisted, oh, I want to have this AUO, that's an A brand, thousand nits, this is the display you use. We put it on our um, heat chamber, right, uh, um, simulating the sunlight radiation, and inside the deeper foil shrinked <laughs> and started oh. burning. So long story short, or shrinking, not burning, but they changed color. And so um, we, we needed to, to replace things inside to make it passing. And that's really where we now take care. That when we say this product is for outdoor usage, it means it's really for outdoor usage, right? And not just like, oh, you have it in an air-conditioned uh, kiosk or whatever. In we, Dubai and all these places. Dubai is no really problem. crazy. But we, we for sure have also kiosk projects now in Dubai. Yeah. Right. And so um, this are um, then, let's say, we slowly go from our, let's say, touchscreen devices to um, kiosks. This was a sanitation kiosk. Um, probably we go really just shortly. Um, this one is the um, Pyramid main product. And we for sure took it here. And again, Pyramid is now our um, mother company. And they are, for, they are really renowned for quality, quality, quality. And then comes modularity and German production. And this is for sure, again, we, we have now weekly quality teams. And we, we um, um, check how to improve. And that's it. All is about learning, each time improving. And that's the spirit of, of us, right? Um, here, this has a privacy shield. So you see, when you are from the side, you don't see a picture. When you're standing in front, you have. This is a large project in um, South Africa, where we um, give out um, 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 where we give out SIM cards or even bank cards, depending on who is the customer. We had a, um, a um, Tunisia, no Morocco um, project, um, where we have this one. We like it because we feel like they wanted to have a very beautiful design, and that it's, it's a pure front glass. And because of the optical bonding, you, you see that the picture, like always, this is our strength and our um, competition advantage that our products are always optical bonded so it really floats um, on the top and is just super beautiful. And um, this one is again something which you know with Haber I, I always let's say how, how to say I, I tell him hey Haber you need every every year to come with the innovation <laughs> and, and this is the innovation he, he did um, this year that we and I think also there we were the first one who now put um, uh, optical bonding process um, which can handle a bended um, glass and, and touch panel and fill it up with um, bonding glue so for, you can for mass order production. Done here all the way up, touch. Yeah. 
And, and again, and optical bonding. And you have still a perfect picture quality. That's quite unique. And we, we won now several um, large um, customers in the gaming industry. And like we just said before, also in the avionic, they are now interested in, in the bended um, um, screens. We, we slowly finalize with, um, again, this one is a very nice cooperation between um, um, the Pyramid Computer GmbH and Fatec. So this is a typical polytouch um, flex. And for Asia now, for the Asian market, we, we do it localized. For sure, it doesn't make sense, for example, to send from Germany to Japan uh, a kiosk. It makes sense you assemble it in, in China and send it to Japan. So we really globalize, localize. You know, it's, we, we take things from some, some area and put it in, in the next area into production. You, you know that one of the big things next year is, for example, starting also production in India. And we have already production in the U.S., so we, we really um, which, also globalize production. Which kind of production. products you can make in India? Um, in India, you, you know that you met him, uh, Sachin, our general manager um, from India, is this week here for training. So basically the idea is that he takes all the knowledge we have here and takes it to India and start the same in India. No, I simplify, but um, we want to start also the um, touch panel production and the optical bonding in India, that we have a full front kit and full product production in India. Hopefully already next year, again, we, we start now the process. We, we have also, um, we ca call it um, um, stripe um, displays, so stretch displays. This is very nice in the supermarket chain we placed it, or um, in, in buses. And one of the projects I want to invest a lot next year in is e-ink. Because for sure they are the most um, um, ecologically friendly products, and you, you just use um, um, you just have power consumption when you change the picture, and so this is perfect for advertisement, bus stops, um, and outdoors it looks amazing. Right, and we you have can make here this waterproof and weatherproof. Right, and we we have here again one thing where we focus on is that we do um, front lights. This is new and do this optical bonded again with our strength. So here we have some innovations, but we want generally have this basically next year as one of our product portfolios. Starting also... Um, Maybe the front light could be powered by a solar charge battery. Sure, that, no, seriously, that, that yeah. is the idea, that um, this so e-ink no can run on solar, yeah. right, and, and battery. And, and for example, but we also discussed it with one supermarket to say we make one um, super low power consumption um, e-ink. How is it going um, with this product? To, to run uh, well, it's it's good. It's we, we um, in Germany we process already more than a billion dollars revenue, and five thousand cards are every day in usage. And we we just introduced a um, smaller browser, and we have now a mini mini model. So we we um, next year have a lot of new products, and we hopefully that's the only thing. Hopefully your video helps on this, right? We still have just one large customer, and I'm this is really where we're fighting strongly to finally win other customers because still we feel like it's the coolest product for the supermarket chains. But we, we so far couldn't convince uh, this camera besides can scan automatically what's here. So we have, um, we have a camera which controls everything. So this one is the only way to, to perfectly control what you put in your bag. We have the scanner which, which uh, goes for scanning and we have the scale for um, um, also theft protection. And so you scan, put it in your bag, and you see what you put in, and then you can just um, say buy and uh, leave the store, right? So it's uh, frictionless shopping. It makes uh, supermarket uh, purchase easy. And the last one is um, um, of, of this product show is again an outdoor kiosk. We have sold several hundreds to the US, to I think in the Middle East is also one project, again, where, where the device survives um, the sunlight. Yeah, cool. That's so, awesome. And what's here? That, that is um, um, our um, network. Um, oh no, that's the Huizhou, the Huizhou marketing. So you saw it, the Huizhou um, government. So we are here in Huizhou. And they put a lot of power also in their own um, um, marketing. Um, but They love you, no? Huizhou. <laughs> I, I, I would not say so much. Okay. But I think we, we want to see each other to be successful. And this is definitely what is great in China that um, you have very often a uh, very motivated government which, which really helps you to grow, which helps you get business done. They are also measured on the typical business KPIs. You know, the government needs to grow, they need to have less unemployment, higher tax payments. And so it's, a, let's say, work together to, to be successful. 
And yeah, I mean, the Huizhou place is not bad. It's one hour away from Shenzhen. So it's, it's cool and... Um, Just one hour north of Shenzhen. Uh, and there's a Shenzhen yeah. office, Huizhou yeah. and... Uh, Suining. Suining. Right. Yeah. How's it going when it's Suining? We're going to film there in a couple of days. Yeah, you will, you will see it. So you, right. you can answer me the question then uh, later the week. Huh? Really, right. thanks for coming. Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot for the show. Great. All right. Thank you.